there is a new AI coding based agent framework called Agent Zero, and this is something that can practically automate anything. It can do coding, brag, text the application, text the front end, and so much more. It's an all in one AI agent that is fully open source and local. Just take a look at this demo video from the creator himself, who is going to showcase an example of what Agent Zero is truly about and showcase what you can actually do with it. Hello, and welcome to the first public demonstration of Agent Zero. My name is Jan. I am the developer behind this project. And in this video, I will do a quick cut through the framework and all of its features for you. Agent Zero is an agentic AI framework that doesn't need to be pre-configured. You don't have to create your agents and tasks and tools beforehand. This framework can do it on the fly. As an example, I can tell him, get time in Berlin and Seattle. The agent doesn't have any specific tool for the job, but he can use the code execution tool to write his own Python code and execute it in a safe Docker container. So he is using the time zone library, which is not installed. That is why he gets the error. So he installs the library, writes the code again, and he needs to print these two variables to be able to see them in the terminal, which he does now. He gets the answer in the terminal and he's going to report the answer back to me. So as you can see, the agent doesn't need a specific tool for anything he needs to do. He can write his own Python, JavaScript, or Linux terminal and execute it. I can now tell him, save it in a file using Node.js. And the agent will write the JavaScript code in Node.js and save it into his work directory as a timeinfo.txt. Now, let's try something else. Let's make him a download a specific YouTube video about RAG. This will require some search. That's why the agent has a built-in knowledge tool. So this is a combination of online search and offline memory search. Right now, he should have some information about YouTube videos about RAG. There is a link to some of these YouTube videos. So he should now find a library to download the video and proceed. Okay, he is using YouTube DL in Python, which is not installed. So he installs that package. And he gets some errors. And right now I can stop my agent in the middle of his message and I can intervene if I see he is headed in the wrong direction. And I can tell him use YT DLP because I know this library is going to work. So he installs YTDLP. And he is able to download a video about RAG. But now, let's say I just want the audio of that video. So make an MP3 using FFMPAG. So he checks the version of FMPAG, which is not installed. So he proceeds with installing that library. The library is installed. And now the conversion happens. And I already have. And uh, let's see a simple workflow the audio file here that was truly spectacular and this is something that we're going to be taking a look at throughout today's video as i showcase how you can actually install agent zero locally and how you can basically get started now before we get started i definitely recommend that you take a look at the patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that we'll be releasing this week if you would like to book a consulting call with me you can do so with the link in the description below i'd like to introduce world of ai solutions this is a really big update that has been launched for my channel and this is where i have compiled a team of software engineers we have machine learning experts ai consultants and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. So let's get started. Before we even get to showcase how you can actually install this, let's talk about what Agent Zero is truly about. 
It's an open source project, it's quite versatile and interactive. But something to note is that this is not a predefined agentic framework, meaning that it breaks the mold by being inherently dynamic and adaptable. So unlike these traditional frameworks that are out there where they have predefined structures and limitations, Agent Zero is something that is quite different as it's going to be able to evolve organically. It's going to be able to learn from your responses, from your prompts over time, and it's going to grow as you use it. This is basically a flexibility that is a main feature, a part of this framework. It's tailored itself to be specific to needs and tasks, and it's going to be used as a personalized framework more than something that is quite predefined to get things solved or basically completed. It's quite versatile in this way as you can automate a wide range of tasks like coding, creating applications. You can also interact with it quite easily on your computer to complete these tasks. And it's something that is very dynamic. There's five key concepts to Agent Zero. Firstly is the general purpose assistant, which is gonna be able to handle a wide range of tasks like coding as well as collaborating with agents. You can use it as a computer as a tool, which is going to utilize the operating system to create and use tools quite dynamically. It's a default function, including search, memory, communication, as well as code execution. You have multi-agent cooperation where agents can work together. You have customizable and extendable features where you can fully customize and utilize this open source framework so that you can modify prompts, tools, and behaviors. And lastly, you have communication, which is where you can efficiently and effectively interact with different superior and subordinate with different real-time terminals for user intervention. So now let's move forward with the installation of Agent Zero locally. I'm going to be showcasing this with Windows, but it's quite similar as to how you would install it with Mac OS or Linux. Now there's something I want you guys to keep in mind, and that is where you need to make sure that you have all these prerequisites installed, especially Conda. The reason why I say this is because always run Agent Zero in an isolated environment like the built-in Docker containers and careful what you wish for. Because with proper instructions, Agent Zero is capable of many things, even potentially dangerous for your computer, data, or accounts. You are not having this framework constraint into your own specific environment. It's gonna be able to make changes across your whole computer, which is why it's essential for you to have it within an isolated environment. So make sure you have these prerequisites installed. Firstly, make sure that you have Honda installed. Make sure that you have Python installed, which is going to be the programming uh, language that we're going to be utilizing. Make sure that you have Git installed. This is something that we're going to be using to help us clone this repository onto our desktop. VS Code is going to be the IDE that we're going to be utilizing to edit certain configurations. And Docker is also another option you can use. And I want you guys to have an open AI API key ready, as well as a perplexity API ready as well. So once you have all these prerequisites fulfilled, you can then move forward with the installation. What I want you guys to do first is simply open up command prompt and type in conda create dash n and the name of what your virtual environment is. In this case, I'm just name it agent zero and then click enter. It's gonna start creating the virtual environment for this. It's gonna then confirm that you wanna create this. You wanna click yes. What you can do next is just simply type in conda activate agent zero. And then you can start cloning this repository within this virtual environment. So what you'll do next is go onto the repository, which I'll leave a link to, as well as all the other links that I use in today's video in the description below. What I want you guys to do is head over to the Agent Zero repository, click on this green button, copy this, go back into command prompt and type in git clone and paste the link and simply just click enter. And this is going to start cloning the repository. And what I want you guys to do next is open up Visual Studio Code. This is where you can just simply open it up, open up a new folder. In this case, just simply click open folder, or sorry, open a new window first. And then what you want to do is simply click on open folder. And you want to find the agent zero folder that you just recently cloned. You want to select that folder, head over to the .example.n file. This is where you're going to paste in all the API keys that are needed for this to be functional. In this case, if you're going to be utilizing the open AI model, you just simply paste this in over here. Right now, it's currently utilizing the perplexity model. So if you do not want to use that, just simply paste in the OpenAI model over here. Once you have made the changes, click on rename. And this is by just simply right clicking on the file, taking out the dot or the example, and then just having it dot example or dot env. And then you can just simply click on file and then click save. Now, the next step is installing the dependencies. And what you'll need to do is just simply copy this command, hip install. 
go back into command prompt and i want you guys to type in cd agent dash zero to go into the right directory and you can just simply paste in pip install dash r requirements this is what's going to start installing the requirements within our virtual environment so what you can do now is just simply open up docker have it running in the background once that is finished cloning this repository we can then simply paste in this main.py command and now what you can do is just simply paste in the main.py command and we're going to be able to start up agent zero within our own terminal you can also do this within visual studio code which is more appealing in my opinion but this is something that we can get started with right away so now we can request it to basically generate anything we want for example we can create a snake game we can create different SAS components for a ui or we can start generating and making changes to our code base so let's start off with something very basic create me a basic snake game in python we're going to click enter the agent's going to start working on this you can see that's going to deploy the right agents it's going to install the right uh packages so it will actually do all the work for you in this case it's going to be installing high game for me and it's going to be able to start generating and save it to the right file and you can actually access all of these files within the logs over here this is where it's going to be able to make a good log of what is happening in this case it's formulating and generating the snake game and it's going to be able to provide all the different changes within the logs over here and it looks like it has generated the code for the game so what i'm going to do now is just go back into vs code i'm going to create a new file and we're going to basically paste in the code over here name it snake game.py click enter and then paste in the code all right now let's test this out simply click save and let's click on play to see if it's function and there we go we have our snake game created from agent zero this was something that it was able to do in a couple of seconds and it looks like it's interactive it looks pretty nice to me and there we go we have our first task completed now there's truly so much more to this where it can basically generate full-on applications make changes to your applications throughout the code base itself and it's something that will dynamically improve itself and increase its basic generation quality as you use it more and more because it's going to be able to learn and it's going to be able to have this built-in memory that can assist you with personalized responses this is something that i truly recommend that you take a look at i don't have enough time because we're already at like 12 minutes 13 minutes into the video so it might not be optimal for me to make a full 30 minute video showcasing this i plan on making another video on this because this is truly an amazing framework that i recommend that you try out it's something that's very new and huge respects to the creator for creating such an amazing project I'll leave all the links that I used in today's video in the description below. But that's basically it for today's video, guys. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI subscriptions completely for free on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.